Hello, this is Pratap Singh Gaikwad and welcome to the Buggy Khana. Today, for the first time in this series, I am absolutely speechless. The car that I'm going to introduce you to is something so special that I am completely lost for words. It's a unicorn, not only in the Indian context, but it's a unicorn globally. So without much ado, let me take you to the owner of this very special car. Come again, Dada. Come again, come again. How are you? Very good, Dada. Thank you very much for to, having me over here. Pleasure to have you here. So, uh, just a quick uh, preview of the company that uh, manufactured this car. How many numbers did they manufacture? And then how did this special car come into India? Okay, um, as far as I know, the Delahe company, when it was at its prime, right. they were truck manufacturers. Okay. So, it was only around 1934, 35 right. when they entered into the car market. 35, 36, 37, I think they went around winning practically every rally that took place in those years. Right. Which brought the car, the mark, right. into the market. So they had a fairly simple transition from being a truck manufacturer to becoming such to a specialist such a spe uh, yeah. manufacturer uh, yes. and taking part in rallies and even winning. And the total number of this particular model that they made? So this particular car is 135 MS. I believe about 11 were made. Right. Of which five probably survived. Survived, wow. And that's globally? That's globally. That's and globally. out of the five, one of them, which is this car, is the only one of one car in India? That's right. Wow. That's right. And you know how, again, th this is a car from the 1930s. And again, in those days, uh, you would hear mainly of Rolls Royce and Bentleys, etc., coming in. So, how did this car enter into the Indian market? There was a French, a Frenchman called Mr. Jord, yeah. who brought two cars into the country. Uh, this was just about the beginning of the Second War. I think when he was leaving the country, he probably sold both the cars before going back. Right. And from the Paiga family right. of Hyderabad, right. they uh, uh, picked this car. After from, Mr. George. After Mr. George. And from what I heard from you as well, Mr. George was also quite a colourful character. I. That's what we hear that he was. Uh, he was a collector of exotic animals and. Right. Uh, and he had a good. He had an eye for beauty. He had in, in every aspect. He had a, you look at the car. He had <laughs> an eye for beauty. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we thank Mr. George very much for you know bringing this this special this, car uh, to our this, car, uh, this car to uh, to india right. the sister car has prob probably went out of the country at some point in the 80s right this is very much here mr George, George came with two George cars came with two cars this one remained the second one sort of came in and then and went back went, out. went went out again okay. and uh, then i think this car was with the yarjung family uh, uh, family they it had probably gone to Bombay then uh, for repairs, right? And uh, this was around the, uh, when the police action took place in Hyderabad. It remained in Bombay for a while, right? My father's older brother, oldest brother, Maharaja Hanwan Singh of Jodhpur, right. he happened to be in in Bombay in those days, and he saw this car lying at Bachu Motors. Okay. He liked the car. He picked it up, brought it to Jodhpur, and uh, he did drive it around for a while, but he preferred the Lagonda. He had a Lagonda, which was a V12. Right. And this is a six in line. Okay. So the Lagonda was far more powerful and he preferred the Lagonda. Right. So I think he gave this car to his number two brother, Maharaj Himmat. Ji. Maharaj Himmat had it for a long time, from the 50s way in, uh, till the 60s, early 60s, I guess. When my father, uh, being the youngest uh, brother, had just come out of college and uh, he was looking for a sports car. Right. So he had seen an Austin Healey somewhere and he was, the, the two, two brothers were sitting one day and you know he mentioned that I'd like to pick up a sports car and I've seen this Austin Healey. So Maharaj Himad then said that you know, well I've got a sports car and I'm looking for a Jeep which I, which I believe you have. Right. So would you like to exchange? 
My father jumped at that idea. <laughs> so he pulled out the key and he says, here you are. <laughs> and they both exchanged keys, shook hands on it. Right. And that's how he came to have this. Wow. Now that's a classic, <laughs> iconic motoring For story if I've ever heard one. <laughs> You know, <laughs> one of the rarest cars in the world. My God. You end up uh, exchanging for a 1952 Willys. Wow, what a special car! <laughs> what a special story! Oh my God! And then once the car, once he uh, handed over the car to you, uh, to your father, and obviously, I mean, he being a youngster at that time, to be able to drive such a special car uh, would have also been a treat. It, at, it was. It was a treat. As a child, I remember sitting in. In the, in the in the rear seat, right. also known as the mother-in-law seat, but you know the, the dog seat. <laughs> okay. And uh, I remember, uh, as, as children, we were dumped in there, and we even went up to Mount Abu in this. Wow! Right. So you've also sort of you know had experiences with with this car. So it has also moved. I was very small. Family. I was. I think uh, my my dogs were bigger than me in, in those <laughs> days. You know, okay. I, I would be like somewhere in the middle, and they would be on. Right. Right. So, <laughs> wow. But yes, I do have some memories of this car. And I mean, I'm sure you. It was a special car to you. But did everyone realize how truly special this really was? And when did that actually? No, not really. Not gone? really. Not really. We did not uh, till till one rally uh, that had come down from England, right. and uh, they were they were all all roses and uh, they were at the palace when this car was just parked alongside the other Jodhpur cars. And that's when somebody told us that all the others can be put on one side and right. this by itself. So that is prob probably when we realized that how special this car was right. and uh, how truly, I won't put, uh, uh, special is a better word rather than saying Correct. value because Correct. value is only when it fits on the market. If it's not on the market, Correct. You know, absolutely. Doesn't make sense. But you know, as I introduced it, it's. I mean, for me, it's like a true unicorn. You know, and, and it is. And as you know, unicorns are invaluable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sure. I mean, she's absolutely stunning. So, can I just request you, Dada, if you could just run me through, uh, you know, maybe some design elements, some uh, technical issues. Interestingly, the fenders. Yeah are designed in such a way that when you uh, cross a certain speed, right. the air that flows underneath them lifts the body up. Right. Then gravity, of course, then pushes back. Pu then. Pushes back. So rather than getting a bump on the road, right. you actually get a, a gliding feeling, uh, 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 as if you're floating in like water. A carp like and, a magic carpet. Uh, yeah, well, more, more like a boat in a water. Okay. So you get this, this kind of a feeling rather than this right. the straight up bump. Got it. So right. that is a, uh, one of the interesting. Uh, is that due to the aerodynamics and the air, uh, the air pocket that it creates under the got it. Uh, under the, the fender. fender? That's right. the feeling I got. Okay. Yeah. After you start pushing it over slightly over 80. Right. And what's the top speed for this car? 160 kilometers, I believe. It was in those days in the 1937-39. Right. Uh, probably the, one of the fastest cars in the world. Got it. And when she used to race with the Lagonda. What were the speeds that, that they used that to That is an achieve. interesting story. Uh, both both my uncles were driving from Jodhpur to Sadasaman. Uh, and the Lagonda and the Delai were going literally neck to neck. Right. And uh, at some point, the Lagonda just left this one mm. in a cloud of dust. So when my young uncle reached Sadar Samant and he spoke, he said, what the hell happened? Because we were almost like right. uh, neck to neck. And Maharaj Hanuman Singh at that time, he says, oh, well, I realized I was driving with my handbrake on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he had given himself a bit of a handicap at that point, <laughs> unknowingly. <laughs> so that's, that, that's why I, I mean, he, he probably found it a little under par than right. uh, under par compared to the Lagonda. Right. But this one also is a very, very special car in its own and, way. And to reach 160, potential speed in the 1930s yeah. is not a joke because I mean that's the speed cars are even limited, limited to today. Yeah. True. So wow. True. And what's the engine? Uh, engine, it, it's a, a, a Delaya being truck manufacturers I believe. Right. So I've heard that uh, they, 
it's a very simple a very simple six in line three carburetors right job right with no fancy pretensions nothing correct correct and does a fabulous job so it's a, it's a it's it's a bit like everything coming together you know the design it's the uh, true. aerodynamics true. the engine true. being true. the and thing the most uh, the 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 two the two designers that designed this car they were uh, figoni and filashi right so their design makes it that much more ra rarer and uh, exclusive so what is the official name for the car as you uh, as you call uh, it it's got the designer's the de name also in built into it uh, uh, Fig uh, figoni at filashi uh, de la hay right 135 ms wow the six cylinder and the 12 cylinder de la hay were 165 right the 12 cylinder and the the, six and, uh, the six cylinder was 135 okay. and uh, i think it is 2000 almost 2400 or 500 cc right and you know when i see it, it it looks so honest it looks unmolested as as they say so you know what has been the work how has this car been maintained has she been through any sort of restoration uh, in the past earlier we were uh, maintaining it locally Ji. restoration whatever small paint jobs or uh, just tinkering in on with the engine and things like that right. that was all being done locally till uh, uh, in 2008 when uh, just before Kathiye had the first show in India Mr. Uh, Barwani Manvinder Singh ji he restored it to what it is at the moment this this paint job and, and all this was done during uh, that was that in 2008 2008 2008 and uh, that is when after after his restoration it uh, got the best of the show at the, at the first Kathiye got concourse got So it's been a fairly long while since it was last restored. It's been a long. It's been a long while. Right. It hasn't been touched upon then. That's why some of the now now it does need a, a sort of freshen up kind of more. You're going to be doing a more Hopefully, thorough. hopefully uh I uh, uh Manmohan Singh ji has been in touch and in fact uh, he's very keen to uh, yeah. uh do it do it all over again. I mean this car needs the right people uh, absolutely, involved in it absolutely, you know to do a good sympathetic absolutely. and an honest restoration and uh, I mean he absolutely, is one of the best. And the uh, also uh, he as well as us are very keen to uh, keep the originality of of the car and not go over the top in correct restoring it correct. Uh you've shown this car obviously in India in uh, events like the Kartia concourse etc. The first Kartia it went for then it went for the second Kartia but it was not competing because it had already won the best of the show. Correct. Subsequently I think it went uh, again uh I, I think once it went for the 21 gun salute in Delhi again. Right. And then it and it also went to uh Mumbai again but that was not for a show that was just a, i mean that was not a uh, judging uh, uh, it was not an, it was just a, just a small show right. of french cars so dada tell me uh, a little bit more about you know the special features uh, in this car one of the special features are the are the gears right uh, they, uh, they they i think it's known as something it's called electric gear okay uh, interestingly when this car did come right. to uh, to my father when they exchanged right uh there was something wrong with the gear system right and uh, whichever gear that you put it in mm. and you start when you started the car and you started rolling right it would not shift to any other gear it would just stick to that one it gear. would just stick to that one okay and maybe that was one of the reasons for the exchange but <laughs> who knows so my father's mechanic told my father that you made a mistake you sold a perfectly good jeep for this piece of junk <laughs> and uh, when he says what is what has happened has happened and a deal is a deal right so my driver was speaking with the mechanic one day that you know you're talking about mechanically fixing the the gear, the, the gear system and nobody is being able to do it 
everyone keeps calling it electric gift why don't we just call an electrician to have a look at it what a genius <laughs> so the mechanics said we never thought of that so they called an electrician and uh, there was just a few circuits that were out of out of place right and the fellow fixed it up in a day wow and never looked back since problem then. resolved absolutely and till now hasn't been touched yeah, yeah. yeah we have so it was a simple it was a very simple thing it's very simple thing and <laughs> just as they say fortune favors the brave <laughs> that, and uh, uh, have you met my son aditya come on you hi aditya how are you good good to meet you you too good come on so please tell me a little bit more you know some of the intricacies and okay. like the gears for example because uh, when i was a kid okay it was very easy for me to drive this cuz uh, you just had to press the clutch just once right and then you could just uh, manually just like uh, switch to the gears right and uh, one other thing i really liked about it is uh, even in reverse yeah. you could uh, put all four gears in that okay and but more than driving it i was basically sitting at the back of it <laughs> <laughs> was it comfortable uh <laughs> till a certain point uh, but uh, yeah but after that then i started driving it more so how old were you when when you were put into that seat there probably under 12 okay. under 12 13 <laughs> yeah and when i started learning to drive then then i moved uh, in front right so did you learn how to drive on this car <laughs> a little bit <laughs> Now that's going to be <laughs> something very special. Yeah, okay. Learning to drive with this and and how old were you when you started to drive this? Oh, uh, I think I would probably be 14 uh, when I f- first drove this. Right. So you were just in your compound learning to drive uh, okay. with the yeah, okay. electric yeah. just trying to yes. figure out how, how it worked and all that. Right. And recently when was the last time you uh, oh, drove up? It's up? been probably about 4 or 5 years uh, before covid I guess. So now I guess probably this year I will drive it again. Okay. Now when you drive it obviously from what I'm hearing from you the gears are something that you know were fascinating, yeah, fascinating to you and, and you also enjoyed doing but how did she feel overall could you is she powerful when Actually, she runs I found it very easy to drive compared right. to the other cars right uh, because first of all uh, the seats were very comfortable for me and uh, and only problem is uh, driving outside on the roads yeah. was a problem because of the traffic so be careful yeah but uh, i got a hang of it and then it was pretty okay right because she's a very big car you know i mean she's not okay. like a normal car because normally you know for example the fenders are sticking out so much which normally won't happen okay, in a modern true. day car so your you know presence of mind really has to be yeah, there had to be there plus okay. the traffic is okay. something and plus getting there. used to it as well like the size and like Correct. how to take the turns actually turns was the easiest part uh, in the car right so this got a good turning uh, a good turning so okay right wow haven't driven it fast though but uh, probably one day let's see <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure you will and I, i and you must because i mean she's been designed for that you know that's ultimately. true that's true and uh, she is also lucky to have you guys because most people for example overseas would be you know packing her off into a museum or something whereas she is still very much a part of your family uh you know uh, your father has driven her he's had experiences with her you have driven her you've even learned to drive with her you know okay. so to have such a close and a personal bond which with such a special car is also something to really savor that's true so great so aditya thank you very much it Lovely was meeting you it was that. an absolute pleasure i mean i would love for you to bring her to mumbai sometime i'd love to and maybe we we take her for a drive on the ceiling that would be great that would be great <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thanks sir. a lot take care you too